Yo, hello Yo. guys. Muka Malin here with the Rick, sir. I'm gonna What's show up? you the best rack game there is. Yeah, Ratchet this, Deadlock. Yeah, this is Ratchet Deadlock. This is a, a really, really great speed run, just overall. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Yeah. Why wait, you know? You uh, luster. Yeah, I, I, this is Norwegian. It's for another game. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't speak Norwegian at all. I'm Swedish. Did you go? Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's go. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> uh, Let's get it. You know, I'm just trying to get a world record, you know? Yeah, we got to gain a couple seconds at the beginning. Uh, world record is gone. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a okay, so this is Ratchet Deadlocked. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just blab yeah. on about, like, movement and whatnot. So there's uh, most of the game, you know, contrary to the other Ratchet games, there's a lot of it based on combat. So there's uh, quality over quantity weapons in this game, I would say. There's 11 really great weapons that are fairly well balanced in the game. You'll see all of them being used in the run, in fact. Excellent. The fastest form of movement overall is the charge boots. Here's that. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, here's Clank, which we will not be taking on our back. Instead, we'll be uh, using these bots, which are great. Yeah, we that, love the bots. Yeah, that's why this is the best game, because we cut out Clank and Clank puzzles. Who wants that? We just want pure fueled action. <laughs> So the bots are notoriously annoying, especially on this mission right here. Uh, Nuka has to be quite fast uh, to do this movement here. And then once he falls in here, the bot has to spawn. Ah, uh, that's tough. Yeah, so you can see that the bots are not with him right now, so he cannot destroy this last turret. So it's a very tight cycle, actually. So now they're going to lower the force field there, yeah. and he's going to finish the mission. Woo! Let's go. The nation's behind us. So coming up is Catacrom 4. This is like the first proper planet of the run. Uh, Catacrom will get you used to kind of like a lot of the missions in the game are get to the end, you'll finish the mission, or or you'll kind of like do a node mission or hacking or something like this. This is just get to the end here, so Mook is just going to blaze through here. Yeah, it's like kill, move, or wait for the boss. Yeah, pretty much. So, Muka actually just did a massive skip there with the charge boots just by going over that gap there. Uh, and he's just going to finish the mission in a couple seconds. This is the first, like, proper big uh, skip here. <laughs> okay, let's see if he gets it. This is a frame perfect. Yeah, what? Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> there we go, baby. That was actually really quick. So by pressing triangle um, on a specific frame, you can exit the Landstalker and go to the end here yeah. instead of being in the Landstalker, which saves like 20 seconds-ish. Yeah, you're supposed to do that by force. Yeah. So this is uh, Rise Up, Rise Up Gamers. Uh, that's the name of the mission. You just kill zombies coming out of the ground. Uh, not a whole lot going on. There's a couple of these arena missions, and Mook is going to try to use the mines. After round three, uh, he's going to snipe a ship in the air here. Right there. Can find it. Yeah. yeah, there we go. And then the rest is just, you know, the gamers coming out of the ground. <laughs> there we go. So now we unlock Sarathos, which has a plethora of different tricks. Uh, the first one is the first, like, hacking mission. So you're going to have to get the bots to get on these nodes. You'll see a lot of those throughout this run. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and try and talk about some of the other tech, like, in the second mission, uh, which is something called the air swing, which is a completely new technique that it was actually found so recently that I ran this game like a couple months ago and it was found like right as I yeah. stopped. So I actually don't know how to do this, but it involves getting hit and using the menu in a clever way. So you'll, you'll definitely see this coming up here in a minute. This mission ends whenever you uh, kill a ship at the end, which spawns once you defeat a lot of these enemies here. And right, right there. There we go. <laughs> so here it is. This is the air swing. This new technique. You're going to see it soon. Yeet! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I should have met you, that's why. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you know? It happens. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. Money. There we go. So <laughs> 
Okay, so this is everybody's favorite trick. This is hyper stacking by going into the options menu, into the uh, into the camera menu, and basically doing a uh, hyper swing and opening the menu. You can see it's resetting the state of Ratchet, so he's able to do that over and over again. And this saves uh, like a ton of time. Basically, this is right. This is the end of the level. Yeah, we're, yeah, it saves a ton of time. Yeah, we're supposed to drive around, you know. But. Yeah, you're supposed to ride that car and everything. And uh, this is a pretty slow mission. We have to just this wait for the bots. No, no, no. This is where the boys are separated from the men. Yeah? How? Uh, patience, you know? <laughs> Based. No, but we can just relax, take it easy. Like, that's a big part of this game. Just taking relaxing pauses. Yeah. We love auto scrollers. So it takes like 10 seconds for each of these bots to hack one node, and we have plenty of them, so you know. Yeah, so there's going to be like a big leviathan that's going to spawn in the middle, which is going to die in one hit from the silencer, and right there. Yeah, you won't even see it. <laughs> hardest boss? Question mm -hmm. mark? Yeah, that might be the hardest boss. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see later on. Ratchet bosses are notorious for being uh, very difficult. So this is Kronos. Uh, Kronos is one of the best planets in the run overall. It has changed a lot due to the air swing, and you are going to see it on the first level here. Uh, normally, you would have to just go through the level and get hit a good... Me. Hit me. Hit me. No? Come on. Yeah, there oh, we there we go. Nice. <laughs> uh, no worries, man. <laughs> no worries. Hey! <laughs> you know, it's a bit scary, but we're safe. Yeah. You're meant to go through that fortress in the middle, but you just yeah. basically skip most of that. Pretty easy here. So here's a... Uh... Can I get this? Yeah. Make it! Oh, nice. yo, yo, no Funny. problemo! So here's Shellshock. Uh, he's dead. Um, so we're gonna go up on this, <laughs> on this ledge here. And defeat these ships to end the mission quicker. And Mooka's just gonna aim in the blind spot. Once the reticle turns red, he's gonna shoot. And then a couple boxes left, like that. And that ends the, that mission as well. No bomb. That's yep. Right. This is Dread Zone, baby. <laughs> so yeah, you're meant to use like a grind rail to go all the way around, but with some clips and some good movement, you can finish that in about 15 seconds. Come on, RNG, be nice. So Mook is setting up another air swing here. Nay. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. oh, maybe that works. Uh, they're kind of in the way. Uh, uh, it was too far between the hits, so you need to get hit quite fast. Yeah, this, this one's tricky. The end of the mission's up here to the right, and you're going to see how he's going to try to gain some... He's going to gain height here. Okay? There we go. So watch this. The end of the mission's up there. There we go. Hey! Oh! There we go. No. <laughs> Shouts to the crowd, man. They're the best, man. They're the inspiration for me to keep going. <laughs> Otherwise, I would walk away. <laughs> No, but air swings are weird in a way I can't really explain them. They just, you know, work. But something about taking damage, increasing your speed by 50, something, something. Yeah, Mobius, uh, uh, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm sure the people that found this have a good explanation, but I can't give, yeah. <laughs> give one. So this is Fight to the Cathedral. This is, once again, another, like, you have to go a long way around. But the end of the mission is kind of, like, right here. Get through the wall. There we go. Yep. Ah! Wrong weapon. Nice. Okay, so this next mission, Mook has to be qu Mook has to be quite fast. So this is showdown with Shellshock. This is the boss battle. So he has to get this clip on a first on his first try because the bots will spawn on the other side of this barrier if he gets through fast enough. Easy like that. money. Yep. There we go. And here's the boss. Uh, here's the boss. <laughs> oh, are they good? Uh, let me just convince them. Uh, Wait, how did he get through? Did you know that Shell there we go. I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's the beauty of Deadlocked, uh, waiting for the slow. <laughs> Good stuff.
What planet are we on? Avenger tournament. Yeah, but like I don't know number. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna say like five. This, this is like the fifth. Yeah, planet. five. I think. Hey, Ratchet. I know you're busy with. <laughs> Thanks, Al. Yeah, we're ignoring him. So here's another memory game. Yeah, a lot of these arenas are basically pure memorization. Uh, there's another ship coming up here, and then this last section, if you're grinding for the IL, are just super luck dependent, depending on how, how quickly they drop. And there's one more here, which is super inconvenient, and uh, ends at 59, and then there's this last one. Go, baby. There we go. So Mooka's going to use the hyper stack here to cross this gap as well. Uh, the enemies you have to kill is pretty deceiving on this part to like advance the, the mission. It's these little guys here on the right. Now a ship will spawn. And now two of these guys here will spawn these platforms that he's jumping to right there. Well done. Ah. Yeah. The movement between these platforms is pretty tough. There's a couple ways of doing that. And this is again just like a small arena with enemies here at the end. He's going to destroy a ship. And that's the end of the mission. Now it's time for the Tower of Power. Uh, a big ascent upwards. Good RNG, good RNG. Nice. This should work still. Oh. Took damage twice. Let's go. Get up there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Keep going. Are they... Oh, wh wait, no, we, uh, we can save it, we can save it. We can save it. Uh, no. oh, you can stand on that? Yeah. Okay. There hey, we go. Hey, hey, there we go. You know, you know, I kinda got it. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> Round one of one. Yeah. Also, we're gonna look away a lot. Oh, there we go. Pretty good. Okay, so now Mooka's gonna uh, unlock two of the most notorious like notoriously difficult planets in this run, Shar and Orkson. They're not necessarily like difficult overall. They both of them just have one really difficult mission each. Uh, we're gonna come up here on Shar, which only has three missions. Typically, there's four on each planet. Uh, this first one is Return of the Death Bowl. It is you're meant to extend these bridges, but the end zone is just like slightly stuck out here, so you can just fall on the ice and then uh, finish the mission that way. This is a really difficult mission. Uh, you're meant to use the Landstalker to take out like all of the enemies here, but it is a lot faster to do it on foot. So all of these enemies on our left have these shields that only the bots can take out. And it gets loud and laggy and... Oh, come on. And that bot... Just don't be shy. I'm surprised he's still alive. Get up! <laughs> oh, there we go. You know, a bit of encouragement. Yeah, he, that, he could die still. Hopefully not, please. Uh, he might actually be getting it. Am I stuck? Hello? Uh, is he dead? Uh, yeah. You know, but the beauty of deadlocked. <laughs> oh, wow. We actually oh, he gave up. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, he just he just took a nap. Dude, honestly, I could just restart <laughs> this. <is dead>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one, this is a rough mission. It can go wrong so quickly. There we go. Okay. These last two aren't too bad, but there's still a ton of enemies left. So he's going to set one of the bots to get that node over there. A lot of the node missions really just depend on getting the bot to get on a node and then moving forward and then getting the other bot to get on a node. And then sometimes if there's a third node, you can get on it yourself. Okay. okay. I almost got that guy killed. There we go. <laughs> I'm supposed to protect him. <laughs> okay, no soft lock, no hard lock. More notes. Yeah. Who doesn't like them? Yeah. This one's not as bad, um, just because it's kind of like tougher to outrun the bots. Sometimes there's a little bit of randomness at the very end of the mission with some enemies that can hit you up here. So he's going to have... So the one bot's on the node back there. The other bot is on this node. And now he's going to put down a turret. And that should protect him from these guys. Yeah. yeah good, good. Easy. It's just the soft lock you most worried yeah. about. And that's Char coming up to Orkson. On the first mission of Orkson, this one's like really interesting. Uh, there's a path on the right and one on the left. 
And no matter which one you take, the announcer will like make fun of you for like yeah. whichever way you take. <laughs> but Mook is gonna try and get each bot to hack each side of the, the maze. So he's gonna hack the right, then hack the left, then clip through here. And since he hacked the right first, the game assumes that he's done a full lap around the entire maze and it's gonna finish just right here in 10 seconds. This is node overload. This is one of the worst missions in the run. A lot can go wrong here, but I feel like Muka's. Uh, uh, we're already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about to compliment how based you were at this mission, but I mean, sometimes you just can't help it but the bots. There are six nodes that are everywhere, and the enemies are really rough. There we go. The problem lies in the fact that the bots get stuck on the lips in in these like general like yeah. areas here. I have no clue how to prevent it, you know, but you know, we love RNG. Yeah. And you can see Mooka is also keeping up the minimap just so you can see where the bots are. The moment they finish one of their nodes, they'll warp to them if they're too far away. So uh, this should be good. I'll yeah. do it myself, you know? If you wanted to write, you do it yourself. <laughs> action is hot. There we go. Man, I love Refinery Ambush. It's more notes. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Uh, the most annoying part of this mission is just having to redo the the D-pad press manually. Yeah, it's you know. Otherwise, they just stand still and ask, wonder what, like, what am I supposed to do with yeah, life? Yeah, they're like, huh? Like, what's my job here? What's the point? On the next, I'll start talking about the next mission. So the next mission is Chains of Villainy. Uh, uh, Mook is going to use the Supernova or the Rhino, whatever you want to call it to destroy four balloons that, again, you're meant to take out with the Landstalker, but you can just exit the Landstalker by hitting Triangle, so he's gonna do that. And he's gonna use a precise setup to try and hit the first one. That first one is quite tough to hit. Gonna hit the second one here. And he's gonna charge into the into the mud to preserve a little bit of momentum. That's and... Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, that's the first one. What? <laughs> how did that... No, no worries, no worries. How did that instantly kill you? There we go. You know, it was oh, a what? time save, time save, you know? I've never seen that! <laughs> <laughs> it's a quick death war back to the first one. Yeah, that was the plan, not that I miscounted how many times I took damage. <laughs> <laughs> so in between some of the planets, there's these tournaments. So there was an Avenger tournament, this is the Crusader tournament. This is one of the longest challenges in the run. It's five rounds of where you're stuck with only the mines. Uh, the game does refill your mines like slowly throughout, you know, the challenge, so you get so you don't run out of ammo. But it's pretty slow. Muka's gonna try to hit a ship here at the beginning of round two. That's most. I mean, there is ways to gain and lose time in this one, especially just memorizing where every, everybody pops out. This side over here is like where most of the enemies will come out for the most part. But pretty standard overall. The end of the mission looks pretty cool though, but it'll be a while till we get there. We do a bit of twirling around, spinning around. Yeah, we all love... Could maybe be a good time for donations while we're doing this stuff? Yeah, for sure. All right, Absolutely. awesome. We have an anonymous $5 donation saying, great to see the rack pack back for a real-time attack at an event so stacked. Those are Yo. all facts. Also, Bars. forward, forward <laughs> to Jack. Uh, and that is, of course, going towards a Final Fantasy bid war, naming the character Jack. Uh, we also have five dollars here from Deadlock Home saying donating during a legendary dude. run. Thank you so much to you to both. The nice. That's a good. Cl that's that's a bonus clip. That that barrier pretty much goes down in like the next second ish. If you can clip through, you basically just save like a, a second or two there. So Mook is waiting a little bit for the bots there. Uh, oh, that was a tiny one. Yeah. Tiny, tiny. See. This one. He's on the node, right? Yeah, he, okay, he's good. Yeah. Sometimes I question the bots sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you can fully trust them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, we haven't They're... been proven wrong yet, right? Okay, so here's Reactor. He's dead. No! What? He is dead. I wasn't lying. Oh, there now he's go. dead. <laughs> like, for real, that time. Uh, you know, it happens. On to more air swings. Let's go. Yeah, uh, Valix Belt has changed a significant amount because of the air swing. There's a lot of levels in this area where there's like kind of like a section of platforms here and then there, and there's a bit like a, a, a big space chasm in the in the 
like in the way. This first one, the end of the mission's all the way over on this like kind of garage on the very uh, on the very right. So Mook is gonna set up the air swing. Let's and go get right over there. I'm not worried, man. Bonus swag. Oi, 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 oi. Nice. Oi. Uh, I got caught in the corner. Yeah. Oi. Yeah, you can get all the way to the node, which I didn't even know about, which was kind of cool. All right, coming up now is Space Ace. Uh, this is the first ship mission of the run, <laughs> which is... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's like 12 pack of enemies that he has to take down, and uh, it's it's tough. I mean, it's, it's not like an easy mission, but this happens where they just like live with... 1 HP and it's kind of annoying. You have to turn around sometimes. I wanted to brag, but I, it, it failed on me right away. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the smaller enemies... So what he's trying to do is is that main shot that he's using. He's trying to hit the big guy and then the little small green dudes. He's trying to use the, the missiles on them. This pack's annoying because they can hide behind the left wall. Like all the way behind that thing up there, essentially. I'm doing hand gestures as if you can see what like I'm pointing to. Um, I think it helps, you know? Yeah. To visual. It helps me, <laughs> if anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that, that, that would be embarrassing. One, I can live with, but, like, turning back to two, you know, I should retire then. Vision's also quite laggy if... Oh, nice. Yeah, this mission can also be kind of laggy, so he's just putting the camera in specific spots sometimes as well. That, you'll see that on just, like, not just the ship missions, but... Uh, a lot uh, of things just because the PS3 port is great for this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're happy it exists, <laughs> but it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Okay, this is power up. You're meant to hack the notes to open these doors to get to the end of the level, but uh, Mook is just going to do a couple mind clips to get to the end instead. So these are kind of the easiest doors to clip through. Typically, it's a front clip is used on that first one. Easy. There we go. Money. Nice. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, this is a tough one. So this is let the light shine through. Used to be around like a 45 second mission. Nice. Okay, okay. Is that enough? Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> oh, now you can actually get excited. <laughs> yeah, it's a long one. You'll have to keep, <laughs> keep going. Please. Make it. There we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then the last note is in this little area. Oh, I'm here. glad it didn't crash. <laughs> <laughs> you said that like three times. Well, it's the most prominent spot. It's like it's the favorite spot to crash. Yep, it is. <sighs> All right, coming up to Planet Torval. This is a planet that's not particularly like tough. There's a couple tricky missions. But uh, if you're new, especially, this is a, a tough uh, planet, at least in my opinion. Uh, so it starts off with a small node mission. You have to just get the bots to take down these turrets. You can't go too far away too quickly, otherwise the bots won't follow you. But otherwise, this mission should take about 30 seconds. No, who doesn't love node missions? Yeah. Okay, so the next mission is Seek and Destroy. And what Mook is going to do is you're meant to chase the... Uh, you're meant, so now you unlock the bike. And you're meant to chase these 12 dudes around, like, all the way around, like, th in these laps. But check this out. There we go. Yeah. So he kills the first six in front of him. And then by going away a, a certain radius away from them, the other six spawn behind you. Yeah. And you can finish the mission in like 15 seconds. No, otherwise it takes like, I know there's a skill point for that. That's like, oh, finish this in like one minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> like, yeah. then you're good, man. You yeah. Know? OK, uh, the only real trick that this one has, uh, basically, uh, well, it is, yeah, the only real trick is this jump right here. Come on! Oh. Oh. Very close. Almost got it on the second bounce. Uh, let's try that again. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What's uh, what's stopping this guy behind you from uh, doing it again? You know, if he does it, he doesn't walk out. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Nice shield. I like that. What is, what is he doing? Oh, there we go. Well, it's also nice of them to, that it specifies it's a shield. You know. <laughs> you know, it's a skill issue. <laughs> So this is Blast of Fresh Air. You just have to detonate four points on this statue. Uh, that's it. Yeah, it's a timed mission, more or less. At least once everything is done. You know, it's supposed to be like difficult to survive, but because we're playing on the easiest, easiest option, it's like... Just, or we it's can easy. also just mind clip out, you know? Yep. Leave the area. Go exploring. Sightseeing. This is Torval, a nice destination. Yeah, and that's that's it. <laughs> yeah, slightly tricky planet. In my onion. Uh, this is the best split. Vindicator. Yeah, the the toilet breaks. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult segment of the run yeah. for sure. He agrees. <laughs> Maybe he disagrees. <laughs> Okay, so this is the most exciting mission pretty much in this area. Uh, so between each round, you'll see uh, the weapon cycle. So he started with the sniper there. Now he gets, the, uh, gets to use the flail. I think round three is the mines, which yeah. you don't actually want to end this round like right away because having a couple mines out for round six is actually quite useful. Yeah, because we get... It'll get this ship, and it'll also get some enemies later on. Yeah, we get like worse and worse weapons except this one, you know? Here's the dual vipers. This is the only time we'll use these. I heard yeah, some haha's. Let's see how he does with this. Nice. Well, here we go. That timer you guys see at the bottom? That is what you think it is. Two minutes and 16 seconds. We're going to get the world record on this level right now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the IL record as soon as you can hit this clip and do nothing. There we go. So. Once that timer ticks to zero, it's a world record. You know, if we have any donations, <laughs> like, this is the perfect time. <laughs> yeah, don't mind us. We're just getting a free right. record here. Awesome, because we have $50 here from Sparks. And their comment says, Hey ho, Rix, I love your explanation videos of speedruns. And to everyone on the event, keep it up for this amazing organization. And of course, while you do donate, do make sure to put your donation towards any of our bid wars or incentives. We have so many cool ones coming up, like, for example, right after this, we have Tomb Raider 2 by Katarev, and you can donate for him to lock Winston in the freezer. Or if you want something else, maybe the bonus run of Amnesia the Bunker coming up after Halo 2 Anniversary would be more of your taste. We're still quite far from meeting both of these, so do please keep those donations coming in. And of course, enjoy Ratchet. Yeah. Thank you. So when I try to sell the speed game, this is like the one point I choose. Like, if you want to take a toilet break in the middle of your run, <laughs> this is the game, you know? Or if you're nervous, you're like, your heart is pumping out you're of like, your chest. <sighs> like, perfect break, you know? Yeah. Just take a two minute siesta and you're back. I actually do like a small break in the middle of a run. I mean, depends on the length, of course. I mean, if your run's like 10 minutes and it's got two minutes yeah. in it, then like it's maybe a problem. But this is kind of nice. And it's sort of in the middle, you know, if it would be in the beginning, <laughs> <laughs> no one would be running this game, man. Yeah. Also, this is optimal. <laughs> I didn't even hear what people were clapping about. Do, do a flip. Oh. <laughs> Who's ready for the world record Four, of 216? Two, world record! <laughs> Here's the boss of this area. The rhino penetrates his shield for some reason. And he's dead. <laughs> Good fight. Make way. Okay, so two more planets are unlocked from that tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, Stygia and Maraxis. Stygia, not one of most people's favorite planets. There's a lot of... Uh, this is like, I think that this is the only mission you actually use the Landstalker in, so you actually get to see how yeah. to move this thing 
it's really awkward. It's a little bit faster to jump sideways like this. And in order to get these, it's, I don't know, it's really difficult to explain how tough it is to get these nodes on, like, the, the walls that'll lower the barriers and jump sideways at the same time. Yeah. It's not easy. Um, the end of this mission has, like, four nodes that are, like, around a spiral tower. Mooka's going to shoot some missiles into the ground instead of aiming onto it, like right there. And the splash effect will get it here. The IL record for this level is absolutely ridiculous. There's a random comet yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that you see in the background of the level that strikes one of those things, and it saves like three seconds. So good luck, be good luck beating that one. Yeah, you're not beating that one. Yeah. That one is. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, good. He's a bit shy, yeah. but we can convince him. Yeah, Th this mission's notorious for just bots not cooperating. Getting over that railing just is tough for the bots. You know, they, they struggle. Yeah, bots and height are not a good match. Yeah. Looking good, though. I think they're both on the nodes, yeah. and yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much why this planet's a bit like notorious for just not being most people's favorites. Is it, you rely a lot on the bots. The next mission is also relying on the bots. Yep, yep, yep. It's a, it's you. We get to fly the ship again, but it's basically just to protect the bots. So he's gonna nose dive down here, and this first bot's gonna just attach really far away from this node. Um, and hopefully... Oh, nice. there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he was hoping that the bot would get onto the other node, so now that they're going... Separate paths. Separate paths. If they go, sa like, the same way around the whole, like, tower for the for the orbs, um, you lose, like, six to eight seconds-ish. And, uh, yeah, it's just dumb time loss for no reason. So you can see they're going, like, their own separate path. There's one of these turrets, I think, over there somewhere that just is indestructible for no reason. Uh, there is? Yeah, I think so. It's uh, <laughs> I've <it> never, <laughs> I've never tried to kill that one. Though. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like you're not going over there ever. So, I usually do. But oh, 47. That's good. Does this shield survival? I come here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like I'm saying, like. Give me. There we go. Nice. Call on a 17. Oh, oh, there I we believed. go! 16, I, I, baby! <laughs> I should have believed. Okay, Maraxis, not the most tough, like, mission, I guess, or a tough planet. Got a lot of really short missions overall. Yeah. This first, uh, this first mission is you either clip through the barrier or you go above like this. Yes. Nice. That's money. And that's the end of the <laughs> mission. <laughs> nice 11. Yeah. Oh, you just spam that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it works. It, it, yeah, helps, it works. It helps a tiny bit. I don't know if it's copium or not, but I <laughs> want to believe it helps. Yeah. I usually just do one regroup, but yeah, regroup just typically helps that bot get closer to you so you don't outrun him there. Also, this is the Puma. It's a. This is the only time you'll see this car. Uh, I would argue this is actually the hardest mission in the planet, even though it's not, like, tough. Uh, are you gonna do the clip on the next? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Let's do it once, and if it goes horrible, I'll not do it again. Speaking of clips, there could be one here. No, not quite. You can clip through this door and save like a few seconds. It'll end the mission a bit quicker. Okay, after this mine clip, uh, I'll let it explain. It. Wow, that first mine. <laughs> that was a terrible chain uh -huh, uh -huh, reaction. Uh -huh. After this mine clip. You can do this. I'm gonna cheat. Yeah, no, it looks okay. There. Nice, very nice. Good stuff. I lost time. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the shortest missions. You're meant to free the bot, and this is the end of the mission. There we go. Yeah, I can't even explain it in time. Very nice. I even forget what you're supposed to do there casually. You just clip through that gate. Yeah, you you were supposed to lower the bot like for like two minutes, kill enemies. But you know the trigger is outside, so why not? Yeah. True. Ratchet, I've seen a sort of Okay, back to a tournament match. Uh, so this is the Liberator tournament. Again, kind of uh, so. Yeah, just a, just a lot more arena fights. In this first one, you're going to see some lag reduction just because there's a lot of enemies on screen. You're going to see Muka is usually shooting the uh, 
the silence here forward and then faces to the side because <laughs> it's the it's low it's to prevent lag from the uh, on the PS3 version of the of the game. The PS3 version just handles lag really poorly. Yeah. If you shoot the B11 straight down, you'll actually see like the lag let's, let's significantly. See there we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So you want to shoot the B11 a bit far away and then either look down or like look away effectively. This round three is tough to do fast just because there's these like spinning enemies. I forget the official names of them. Uh, uh, they're just a bit random. Yeah, let's just call them balls. You know? Yeah, the balls. The balls. And there we go. Yeah, this is basically the mission. Uh, you can see, you can see Muka is doing. Uh, basically, he's he's hitting the enemies twice by doing the jump slash instead of the ground one with the flail, and it takes care of the enemies pretty quickly. He's hitting them both in the back with the swing and when it lands in the front as well. I'm running out of ammo. Nope. Yeah, I'm fine. So at the end of each tournament, there is a, a boss fight, and uh, I mean, you can maybe try to guess at home, ben, depending on the other boss fights, how quick this one's going to be. You know, is it going to be three seconds, five, ten? Oh, wait, I didn't get it. If he turns around, I can't get it. Don't turn around. Okay, let me try that one more time. He just does, he just does that. Don't do it again. There we go. There we go. Three, nice. Insane, huge insane. Watch out for the Travel to the Travel to the Last Planet, baby. Go station. Well it's second last, but well, it's like Yeah, last. it's the last like planet, yeah. Just trying to trick the audience. Oh yeah, sorry, I spoiled it all. Whoops. The big uh, twist. Yeah, so this is the grinding chase. This is like a really cool casual mission where you're meant to be grinding on the chase? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you can... Uh, that was like one of the first missions that was optimized with... Hyperstack? Yeah. Nice. And this is one of the first missions that was optimized with air swings. Oh! Hey. Nice. Last time we'll see air swings, sadly. Okay, Prison Break. Uh, this has a couple mind clips. The last room, the way the mission ends is... You were meant to just destroy these uh, computer screens. Which has gone through a couple iterations. We used to take them out with the dual vipers, but uh, a mixture of the arbiter and the uh, sniper is just a little bit faster. Uh, so you'll see that at the end here. Oh, he blocked it. He bought it. Blocked it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So now you've unlocked the ship on the ghost station, and this is escape. Uh, Escape's kind of like one of the last, like, big swings in terms of time save that you can kind of get. A good runner will save a load of time over a bad runner in this game. It's actually nuts. Like, you know, just moving while shooting. And th there's nine turrets you have to take out. There's 33 power nodules you have to take out as well. So it's... I don't know. You have to have really good precision. And also your ship placement. You can see Mooka's not going all the way up. He's staying low. Maybe I should have. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He's staying low just so that he can, you know, move on to the next target immediately. This section's just really tough to do well just because it's laggy. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, uh. Helps okay. game, you know? Casually, I think you're meant to take out the nodules first, and then the turrets show up right there. Could be a pretty decent time. I don't know if this is... Oh, it's, fine. Know, it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Good. Yeah, one quick mention about the in-game timer. That basically spawns like a whole new section of speedrunning for this game. There's a there's 89, I believe, ILs of this game, and uh, they're a lot of fun. Some of them are like literally free records. Like, I don't know why the leaderboards track the auto scrollers, but if yeah. you play the auto scroller and you upload the video and submit it, you got a world record. So hey, you can be the best in the world at something. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and that's oh, what that that sounded really bad. I meant it's a positive. <laughs> <laughs> Back to hyperstacking. Uh, this is probably the longest set of hyperstacks in the run. The last, uh, yeah. So this is like the inside the dread zone station, and there's like a west generator and east generator, and then the central core, and then we fight box. So this is east generator, and the end of the mission is just up here, which is just faster than going through the normal way. So 
Book is just going to be hyper stacking. Yeah, I'm taking it extra safe. Yeah. Uh, this, this, this. I really hate these bots in this section. Salute this RNG, come on. Yeah, this is exactly why. Because they'll like cross and they'll get stuck. They get stuck on this thing, they get stuck on the wire, yeah, yeah. they get stuck on the thing in the middle. It That's should be simple because there's no enemies, but yeah. yeah. They're they're quite shy. If you get to know them better, they'll sort of... This is West Generator, probably the hardest mission in the run, at least I think so. He's going to do a, a speed clip through this door first by just... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing enough. There we go. Okay. That is the easy part. This is the hard part. What? Okay, you save it? <laughs> There's no way you save that. <laughs> <laughs> I almost died. Wait, no! Oh! I got greedy, I got greedy. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that in two hyper stacks, but it's, it's, I mean, it's a bit tough. I don't know, this mine clip in particular is extremely precise. If he clips just too far out, there's a death plane that just immediately kills him. Doing three. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> there we go. Nice. One more bit. You can mess this up. Uh, no pressure, man. Uh, we're gonna save it, so you know. Um, no worries. Yeah, a whole bunch of out of bounds is basically just being used to get to the last generator immediately. And it's looking good. There we go. We're in. There we go. Easy. Easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Easy, of course, you know. <laughs> so next is Central Core. Um, a lot of runners have swapped to like a, a wire clip at the beginning, but you'll see Muka do the, the old strat. Yeah, which is they're fake. <laughs> which is essentially just the same speed anyway, so. Yeah. But the OG runners do this trick, which is only me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the boomer strat. But I think it looks pretty cool. I, uh, well, it, this. First of all, Timmy Aberdeen, I'm the one who set your backpack uh, on fire. I'm sorry you couldn't get it off in time. Thanks, announcer. There we go. For that. Nice. Good stuff. Small clip through this. Looking uh, better. Uh. Yeah, one way you can yeah. just gain time overall in this game is you can see Mook is just like instantly throwing down the mine a lot of the time. You can just take it safe and like set it up. Yeah. But uh, you'll save a lot of time just by going, you know, as quick as you can. This bot is okay. He's getting on it. So he's avoiding killing enemies here just because a whole bunch of them do, will spawn in this room. So he's freezing the, the enemy on the left and he's shielding off the uh, the turret on the right over there, even though it's shooting above it for some reason. Yeah, now we're at the last boss. It's gonna be, you know, as difficult as the last ones, you know? Yeah, a little bit longer, though. Yeah, because we're forced to wait. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So here's Vox. This is the final boss. And there goes the health bar. Oh, he has a tiny bit, so let's do this with style. Boom. There we go. Uh, you want to hit it? Time! <laughs> GG. There we go. I didn't stop it. <laughs> or did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I oh. World record, baby. <laughs> it adds up for the beginning of the run. Yeah, yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I have much to say. Uh, Speedrun Ratchet, best yeah. one, you know? Yeah, Speedrun Ratchet, you know, check out the Discord. Uh, it's a tiny button on speedrun.com, but you can find it. I believe in you. Um, that's it. Yeah. Ratchet Deadlocked. Good speed game. Go get some easy world records in the ILs or pick up the full game. It's fun. Exactly. <laughs> All right. so, that's it. Thank you both. Back to you. Uh, before I let you go, though, we have a lot of love that came in at the end there. And I want to make sure you get to hear all of this. Yep. Uh, starting with Sparks, then another $10 saying, well, could you put this in the last one towards the freezer then, which is done. We're almost a fifth of the way there now for locking Winston in the freezer. Uh, we also have a $5 anonymous donation here saying, I've never even played Ratchet and Clank game, but any eye my eyes have been locked to the screen. 
Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed they missed the opportunity to say deadlocked here, but you know, we appreciate <laughs> the five dollars anyway. Uh, Jim Jam 707 saying fifteen dollars saying loving deadlocked. Here's to a week of great runs. And then last here, we have a French donation, $10 from the French Restream Technical Team over at Nitro Speedrun. Let's go for the baguette outfit and the Nitro character name. Keep up the awesome work and make some noise. Woo! Yeah, thank you so much, Tumuka and Ricky.